Today we're going to be diving into 10 work from home jobs that you can start without the hassle of polishing up a resume or sweating through an interview. So whether you're looking to make some extra cash or start a new career path, these opportunities could be your ticket to working from the comfort of your own home. So let's get started with number one on the list, which is an online survey taker. And this is where you get to share your opinions and get paid for it. Now, the reason why this is appealing is because you have the flexibility to work from anywhere. There's no special skills required. However, the downside is you're not going to make very much money. With that being said, you can sign up on platforms like Swagbucks, Survey Junkie, or Vindale Research. Then you want to complete your profile, and then you want to start taking surveys that match your demographics. Now, the skills needed for this are incredibly basic, literally just basic computer skills or phone skills, and honesty and responses. Now, when it comes to your potential earnings, you can earn some extra money, but your earnings will vary. So by completing three surveys daily, you could earn an extra $40 a month. And that's with a company like Survey Junkie. Now, as for Swagbucks, online survey takers earn between $1 to $5 daily. And there's also offers where you could get paid $50 to $20. $150 for certain types of surveys. Now for this person, paid surveys pay around $50 per survey. However, there's also other panels that pay $5, $10, or even $500 per hour for focus groups. This person uses five surveys, a platform that pays $1 per survey with a $5 minimum cash out. And they offer surveys of various lengths up to 50 minutes. Now he finds it generally reliable and he estimates that he earns anywhere between $5 to $10 per hour, but notes occasional survey disqualifications and recommends careful attention to maximize success. For this person, online survey participation can provide a modest side income with survey junkie standing out as a consistently paying and straightforward option. Now newcomers to online surveys should be wary of unrealistic promises and stick to reputable platforms for the best experience. Now for this one there's low pay for the amount of time you invest. Now some potential challenges is the low pay for the time invested, frequent survey disqualifications, and difficulty reaching payout thresholds. Plus there's generally speaking just inconsistent work availability and there's also risks of scams or unethical data use. So some growth opportunities are the fact that this could actually lead to a data analysis type role, a market research role, or some type of role that involves product development or quality control. So overall, this one is going to get an opportunity score of 5 out of 10. The reason for that is because there's low pay, limited earning potential, and high competition. Now, if you found this information valuable, here's a one question survey for you. Will you hit that like button? This principle of small efforts leading to big results perfectly aligns with our next topic, the job of a micro task worker. So micro task workers complete small, simple tasks online for pay. And mastering micro tasks, like I did in pharmacy school, is the secret to conquering seemingly insurmountable challenges and achieving success in any field. Remember, small efforts can lead to big results. Now, the reason why this is appealing is there's a variety of tasks available. You can work as much or as little as you want, and there's no long-term commitment. Now, a great way to get started is to create an account on Amazon Mechanical Turk or Clickworker, and then you can complete any required assessments. And then you can go ahead and start accepting and completing tasks. Now, the skills needed for this are incredibly basic, just basic computer skills and the ability to follow instructions. Now, when it comes to potential earnings for Amazon Mechanical Turk, for instance, they're going to offer a range of earning potential. And this varies with the tasks that you take on and your efficiency. Now, according to a 2018 academic study for a typical hit or human intelligence task, you can expect to earn between one and six dollars per hour. However, don't stop there. The study also found that for more demanding tasks, individual requesters pay an average of $11.58 per hour. So it's very important that you choose the tasks that you do wisely. Now for ClickWorker, they pay between two cents to $7 per micro job. Now this person verified that MTurk is legit, though they say participants should verify requesters reputations to avoid potential scams. And these sites offer a straightforward way to earn money in your spare time. This person also worked on several MTurk tasks and was able to earn $250 to $350 per week at some point, And it was all in their spare time. This person earned from ClickWorker mostly from mystery shopping tasks. Now some potential challenges here are that the tasks can be repetitive. There is a lot of competition for the higher paying tasks, which by the way, a tip for that is use scripts or extensions to find the best paying tasks quickly. And the growth opportunities here are you get to develop a specific skill set that can lead to higher paying specialized tasks. And you can use a lot of these tasks on your resume or portfolio. And overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. I think it's flexible work. I think the pay is low when you first start, but you can get paid more later on down the line. You can do it pretty much anytime. And there's some potential for developing specialized skills for higher earnings. The next job is going to be a social media moderator. Now, social media moderators monitor and manage content on social media platforms. And the reason why it's appealing is because it often includes flexible hours. It's suitable for those who are active on social media. And there's a lot of insight into brand management and community building. Now, a good way to get started on this is to look for opportunities on platforms like Mod Squad or The Social Element. Then you want to familiarize yourself with comment moderation guidelines, and you want to start with smaller communities or brands and work your way up. Now, the skills needed for this are, of course, understanding of social media 
media platforms, good judgment and decision-making skills, and the ability to handle potentially sensitive content. The potential earnings are typically gonna be 10 to $20 per hour and $400 to $800 per month if you're working part-time. And full-time work ranges from 42 to $66,000 a year. So overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. You got flexible hours, good pay, and potential for career growth in social media management. And by the way, social media marketing is a type of digital marketing. And Fabian's story shows the potential in digital marketing careers. He started at $21 an hour, quickly reached $70,000 a year, and now he earns even more with experience. So if you want a career transformation, check out the free digital marketing masterclass in the description, which will teach you what digital marketing is, the different types of digital marketing careers, and exactly how you can get into digital marketing without a college degree or previous experience. And you can go ahead and access that by clicking down in the description and the pinned comment below. Now, the next job is going to be a website tester. And this is a person who provides feedback on website usability and functionality. And it's appealing because the tasks are usually short, 10 to 20 minutes on average. It's pretty interesting work testing out new websites and apps, and you don't really need any specialized tech knowledge. Now, the way you'd get started with this is you'd sign up on platforms like user testing, testing time, or try my UI, which was rebranded to Trimata. Then you'd complete a sample test and you'd wait for test invitations that match your demographics. Now, the skills needed here are the ability to clearly express your thoughts, basic knowledge of web browsing, and attention to detail. The potential earnings are $10 to $60 per test, potentially earning $100 to $200 per month with very little work. So user testing, for instance, pays about $10 for a typical 15-minute test, $4 for newer and shorter tests that usually take only a few minutes to complete, and $30 or more for live testing sessions and answering questions. And this often involves being in front of a camera and showing your face. And for Trimata, you typically earn five to $10 per test. And the secret here is to sign up for multiple websites. Now, user testing platforms like User Testing, Cloud Connect, IntelliZoom, and DScout can potentially yield significant income, with one user reporting earnings of up to $1,000 per week or $150 daily on average, and is generally viewed as unsustainable long-term, but fit for a side hustle. Now, one thing that's really cool about this is you are gonna get some experience in what's known as user experience. Experience. And you're also going to learn some of the basics of web development. So this can be a really good opportunity for you to get into web development or something user experience or user interface related. And overall, this one's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a data entry clerk. And yes, I know what you're thinking, super boring. And yeah, it is super boring. But with that being said, it's still very easy to get into. And it's exactly what it sounds like. You're going to be inputting data. And the key is to see these types of jobs as stepping stones, not your final destination destination. Now, the reason why it's appealing is it's super easy to land. It's straightforward work. You can often set your own hours and there's minimal training required. Now, a way you can get started is with platforms like Clickworker, Data Plus, or Axion Data Entry Services. Then you want to complete any required accuracy tests. And then you want to start with smaller projects to build your reputation. Now, the skills needed for this are fast and accurate typing, attention to detail, and basic computer skills. And the potential earnings are $7 to $15 per hour, which means you could potentially earn $300 to $600 per month part-time. Clickworkers, for instance, earn $7 dollars per hour typically for data entry related jobs and according to Glassdoor data plus data entry salaries range from 35 to 51 thousand dollars per year and Axion data entry services pays about seven dollars and 25 cents per hour now Natasha worked on several click worker data entry jobs and says it provides an opportunity to earn income from home she also pointed out that this platform is known for its diverse range of tasks and responsive support team and according to this reddit opinion data entry jobs are widely available particularly in large cities now this one is super boring and it has limited career career growth or skill growth. But one thing that this could be really good for is learning a little bit about data analysis and visualization. And if you're smart about how you build your portfolio and position your experience, this can help you land a data analysis type job. Plus, it's better to specialize in a particular industry such as medical coding, financial records keeping, etc. So I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score because there's steady work, but low pay and repetitive tasks. Now let's start practicing these data entry skills by dropping a comment below. All right, so now that you've done that, let's get ready for the next gig. You can become an office MVP, but in your PJs as a virtual assistant. So virtual assistants provide remote administrative support to businesses or entrepreneurs. So typically you're going to be working with a CEO, an entrepreneur, or a high level executive. And the reason why it's appealing is because you have a variety of tasks and clients. You have the potential for long-term relationships with clients, and you get the opportunity to learn more about different businesses and work closely with high level professionals. Now, a great way to get started is to create profiles on platforms like Fancy Hands, Zirtual, or time, etc. Then you can highlight any relevant skills or experience in your profile, and then you can start with smaller tasks to build your reputation. Some of the skills you need here are good communication skills, time management and organization, and proficiency with common software such as Microsoft Office and Google Workspace. And typically you're going to earn anywhere from $10 to $25 per hour, potentially
essentially earning $500 to $2,000 per month working part-time. Now, Fancy Hands, for instance, pays VAs for tasks from $3 to $7 per hour. So this is kind of like a VA micro-task platform. Then Zirtual compensates VAs $1,500 to $3,800 per month, depending on the client mix. And this Zirtual employee highlights the advantages of working as a virtual assistant for a company that offers flexibility and work-life balance. So the challenges here are an inconsistent workload and income instability, and managing multiple clients can have conflicting priorities. The growth opportunities are you could move into project management, workflow optimization, you can specialize and become a VA in something like digital marketing or social media management, and you could also move into something like bookkeeping. So there's actually tons of opportunities here for you to move into even better roles. So I really like this one. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 opportunity score for this specific context. The next job is an online tutor or language partner. So online tutors teach or practice languages with students online. And while in pharmacy school, I discovered my passion for teaching by creating study materials and tutoring classmates. I was earning $100 an hour and learning how to turn knowledge into value, a skill which later on became a foundation of my future as an online educator. And you can get started by signing up on platforms like italki, Cambly, or Preply. And I highly recommend creating an engaging profile and an introduction video. Then you can set your availability and rates. And some of the skills you're going to need are fluency in your native language, patience and good communication skills, and basic technical skills for online lessons. And the potential earnings here are on average 10 to $25 per hour, but you can earn much more than that. In fact, I earned over $100 per hour in college if you niche down. And this means you could potentially be earning $500 to $1,000 per month working part-time. And according to ZipRecruiter, the average hourly rate is $19. Now for Cambly, they pay online tutors $10.20 per hour and $12 per hour for Cambly Kids. Preply's average hourly rate is $18.30 per hour. However, online teachers can earn between $10 and $38 per hour depending depending on the complexity of the subject taught. And this online teacher from italki reported earning around $1,000 per month, but did face challenges with income inconsistency and seasonal fluctuations. And according to this Preply employee, the platform offers teachers scheduling flexibility and $14 to $18 per hour rates after reaching an 18% commission. So this can be a really good one to start off, build your portfolio, and then you can just start your own thing. I really like this one. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And this is exactly what I did. I wanted to teach people about choosing the right college degrees and careers. And and now it's a seven figure business. And I have a free YouTube crash course, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below, which will teach you exactly what you need to know about starting and growing a YouTube channel. Next is going to be a beginner transcriptionist. And this is where you convert audio files into written text. Now, transcription might seem tedious at first, but trust me, it's all about perspective. When I was working those long pharmacy shifts, I learned that any skill can be valuable if you approach it with the right mindset. Now this one's appealing because you get to improve your typing and listening skills. It does have a flexible schedule and there's potential for higher earnings with experience and niching down. Now, the way to get started with this is to sign up on a platform like Rev, Transcribe Me, or Go Transcript. And then you wanna pass their basic transcription test and you wanna start with shorter, easier files and work your way up. And skills needed for this are, of course, good listening skills, fast and accurate typing, and basic grammar and punctuation knowledge. And potential earnings are going to vary widely. An average transcriptionist can complete 15 jobs and make about $156 per month. However, seasoned professionals can earn $1,495 monthly. And this is on rev.com. Now rev.com is known for paying a lot lower than other platforms, but it's a good place to start. Now on Transcribe Me's website, it states they pay 15 to $22 per hour. And on GoTranscript, they can earn up to 60 cents per audio or video minute. So on average, you can potentially earn $150 per month from this platform. However, you can earn much more than that once you get experienced. And that's just part time. And I'm not going to lie, the pay rates are very low when you first get started. But once you start to specialize in a particular type of transcription, you can make much more. But with that being said, this is probably not the best one in the world, but it is easy to get started and start making money. And many people have started their remote work journey doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a content writer for content mills. So this is a good place to get started. Content mills are not the best places to work for, but it is super easy to get your first jobs. So you basically create articles, blog posts, and other written content for various clients. And content writing was actually one of my first side hustles. It taught me how to communicate complex ideas simply and became invaluable in my YouTube career. And the reason why it's appealing is you get to improve your writing skills, which means you're basically improving your thinking skills and you're improving your talking skills. And communication is incredibly important in basically every aspect of life. And you also get to learn about diverse topics and you have the potential to build a writing portfolio. So the way to get started is to sign up on platforms like Text Broker, iWriter, or Writer Access. Then you complete a writing sample and then you start with lower tier assignments and work your way up. Now the skills needed for this are going to be good writing and grammar skills, research abilities, and the ability to follow 
follow style guidelines. And the potential earnings are going to be one to five cents per word, potentially earning 200 to $1,000 per month, depending on your output. Now, text brokers rates start at 1.1 cents per word to 5.5 cents per word. For iWriter, writers earn about 91 cents per 150 words to $282.75 per 6,000 words. And the rates will vary depending on your writing skill. Now, writer access basic marketplace projects are priced at two cents to 10 cents per word and higher quality work like copywriting, for instance, is priced at 11 cents to $2 per word. Now for this freelance writer, TextBroker offers flexible work with twice weekly pay. While pay rates can be low, the platform provides opportunities to build client relationships and achieve personal goals. So this iWriter states the platform offers varying pay rates for freelance writers. So article payments range from 390 for 500 words to $21.45 for 2000 words. And this is based on research needs and client requirements. So yeah, there's a lot of downsides here. You know, it is working for a content mill. You're not gonna be getting paid as much as you want to at first, but once you build up your portfolio, there's gonna be lots of growth opportunities. You can go into SEO, for instance. You can go into niche specialization and high demand industries. You can start copywriting and persuasive writing. You can start creating different types of content like YouTube scripting, for instance. And then later on, you could even build your own personal brand. So low initial pay, but good potential for skill development and future freelance opportunities. I'm giving this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next job is going to be an online juror for mock trials. And this is where you participate in mock trials to help lawyers prepare for real cases. And mock trials might seem out of left field, but hey, life's full of surprises. I mean, who would have thought a pharmacist would end up as a YouTube entrepreneur? And sometimes the most unexpected opportunities lead to the best outcomes. So the reason why this is appealing is because it's an interesting insight into the legal system. There's no legal knowledge required and you get to contribute to the justice process. So a way to get started with this is to sign up on websites like eJury, Online Verdict or Jury Test, and you complete your demographic online profile, then you wait for cases that match your profile. Now the skills needed for this are the ability to analyze information objectively, good reading comprehension, and basic computer skills. And the potential earnings are usually about five to $10 per case. So online verdict, usually reviews will take 30 to 60 minutes and they pay about 30 to $60. Virtual mock trials conducted via Zoom on specific dates last two to 10 hours and they typically pay 75 to $700. And for jury test, case reviewers typically earn 20 to $50 per case. So payments typically increase with longer case presentations and more extensive questionnaires. And you'll be informed upfront about the specific case fee and time commitment, which usually ranges from 20 to 50 minutes. Now there's lots of people that said they've made money doing this. For instance, this person said that they made $300 for an eight hour focus group. But yeah, the challenges here are gonna be technical difficulties, like if you have poor internet or software glitches, it's gonna be hard for you to engage and focus for long virtual sessions. And you may have difficulty assessing witness credibility through video. There's also privacy concerns about sharing personal information online. And in some cases, it could be inadequate compensation for time commitment required. Some growth opportunities here are if you want to go into the legal industry, this can be a great way to get some experience. And it also improves your ability to evaluate evidence and arguments. And these can always be used on your portfolio as well as your resume for work experience. And that doesn't just go for this job, but it goes for all the jobs mentioned in this video. So overall, I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, I did make a video on the 17 work from home job companies that are almost always hiring. It went viral. People loved it. And you can check that out by clicking right here.